I'm Jim Kircher along the banks of LaBarck Creek here in Jefferson County, and I'm not alone because there's something going on here that a lot of people are interested in. It's not immediately clear just what they're doing here or why, but this is one of the latest bioengineering techniques used to restore and protect natural stream beds and banks. And in this area, you don't get much more natural than LaBarck Creek. In terms of fish biodiversity, it's been recorded over 40 species of fish in this little stream. Is that right? It's the highest biodiversity stream by far in the, in the St. Louis area. It travels just over six miles through mostly wooded, hilly, and undeveloped terrain before it empties into the Merrimack River south of Eureka. And in its watershed are a state park and several conservation areas. The project is being carried out on a tight bend near highways F and FF. It's a piece of land now owned by Washington University's Tyson Research Center. Uh, during our recent flood events in the St. Louis area, the water has just come down a, a fairly straight stretch and just slammed right into the bank um, and has been cutting back the bank and eroding it and sending tons of sediment downstream. And sediment is one of the biggest threats to this kind of ecosystem. Dirt is washed away here in a storm and eventually, when the water slows down, it settles to the bottom. And that can actually choke out habitat for small insects that actually serve as the base of the food web for stream ecosystems like this on Lubbock Creek. Now streams and rivers naturally erode the earth and cut their path, but here a previous landowner had cleared away the trees and other vegetation that helped stabilize this hairpin turn. And without that vegetation, Lubbock Creek just kept cutting and cutting away. Hundreds and hundreds of tons just in the last two years of, of this land has poured into, this, into the Merrimack River Basin and into Labarck Creek. You could just build a wall, say, with rocks, but this is a green technique that will look and act more naturally. They started by digging out the bend that's been eroding, and they're building it back up in layers, starting with trees and brush, covering that with a biodegradable blanket, then a layer of dirt. So then more dirt? And then more cloth. And then, then you get yourself up to where you're right at the point where the river floods normally. Mm -hmm. You give it a little bit of a floodplain, you replicate a floodplain. This slows down the water, it prevents erosion, and it allows the stream to sort of repair itself. This technique has been used before, but not very much in Missouri, where a lot of streams need help. And that's why so many people came out to see how this was being done. Folks who are with nonprofit organizations and federal and state conservation departments. The Nature Conservancy, Steve Harrington, is overseeing the project here. This is an opportunity to show from a 100% bioengineering approach what can be done to recreate that pool so we can hold some big fish in there that was completely lost um, three days ago before we started construction. Right. You find that balance. You, you want the stream to do its thing? But then again, sometimes you gotta go ahead and put that Band-Aid in for, for whatever reason, and you spelled it out really nicely. I appreciate that. Yeah, and in this case, we want this stream to have that dynamism. We wanna bring it back to a natural rate of change. Right. That's typical for, for this system. Right. We've come back two weeks later to check out progress, and it looks pretty good. A lot has been done here. And last night, there was a big rainstorm. For the first time, the rushing water hit the newly reinforced bend in the creek, and it seemed to be holding up. But the real test will take place this spring. And by then, it should look a lot different, a lot greener. Already, some grass was starting to sprout from sod and seeds, and there's plenty more to come to bring this back to what this bend in the creek should be. So the first step is to fix the stream and the stream bank. Then we'll come back this fall and do and in, install some native plantings of a variety of native grasses and woody species so that ultimately we can make this land use support uh, the intervention that we've, we've created in restoring the stream itself. <laughs>